Hey everyone, Lenny Bonds here from Purposely Pixel, and today I like to talk about five things I hope will be implemented or improved upon in the upcoming Pixel 8 series. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I posted this question on Twitter a few days ago and I asked what would you like to see as the five things the Pixel 8 series would add or implement to improve the device. And this is in no particular order, but one is battery. Now, the Pixel 7 Pro battery gives me five to about seven hours of screen on time, seven hours on a great day or if I'm watching a lot of YouTube because screen on time isn't really the way you could base overall usage of a device's battery, obviously. So my phone lasts from about 6.30 a.m. till about 8 o'clock p.m., but then I definitely have to charge. There's no way I can continue to keep going with the device. Impossible, it'll die before the night is over. So it's, it's fairly good to me because I could always drop it on the charger when I get home and that's fine. But with Apple for the last couple of years who has a smaller battery but a much more efficient battery than the Pixel series and now with the release of the S23 Ultra and the new Snapdragon chip, it's getting the same if not better battery than the iPhone of today and previous years. So I think Pixel definitely has to step up their game in the Pixel 8 series. Listen, we don't always want to top everything, but we want to be in the same level at least as the top tier competition. So if we can't beat it, at least let's come close to matching it or match it. So that's one, battery. Second thing is charging speeds. So we could roll that right into from battery down to charging speeds. If we had faster charging speeds, we might not worry about the battery as much. 23 watts of charging speed is horrendous this day and age. With all the um, Asian manufacturers putting out God knows what speeds and Samsung having 45 watt charging, we have to step up our game. I don't care what Apple does, if they're 27 watts and people are fine with that, their battery lasts all day. We have to do one or the other, or I prefer both. Increase the battery efficiency and increase the battery speeds. The third thing I want to mention is a better cooling system. Now I love the tension chip and on the Pixel 7 Pro, I haven't really had the issue um, that I had in previous Pixel devices where the device is too hot, it's overheated, um, you're limited to what you can use on the device. My device has never shut down, but let's say I was in camera mode on a Pixel 6a, it would say the device is too hot, some features aren't able to, you aren't able to use, i.e. I couldn't video record anymore, especially if I was recording in 4K video. I want Google to improve on that. I want to have a better cooling system. I want the Tensor chip to be more efficient when gaming, when taking video, when taking pictures. No one wants to run into that in the middle of an event, that your device is too hot, please let it cool down, power it off, or anything like that. So Google, if you're listening, please, better cooling system, make the Tensor chip more efficient when performing high demanding duties like gaming or filming or constant photo taking. The fourth thing I want to talk about is customization. Now I know you're going to say, well, it's an Android device. You have customization. Yes, you have limited customization on a Pixel. You could customize the Pixel device, but you cannot really customize the home screen too much. At a glance is always there. Even if it's not there, it's there. I cannot move um, applications in the far left corner. I cannot move applications in the far right corner. You're just limited. There's extra screen space that we could possibly use for other things to 
you know, use our device and customize it to our liking. I would also love to be able to either remove the Google search bar or corner it off in the left corner, right corner, whatever. We talk about Google AI and its voice assistant, but we have this big search bar that's always there. With the hot phrase, you know what, Google, we're able to do a lot of things without even touching the search bar. So please, Google, if you're listening, give us full home screen customization. Let us set up the device to our liking. And talking about customization, that brings us to the fifth point that I want to make. And I know a lot of photo enthusiasts would love this. We want full access to the 50 megapixel camera that you give us. Give us the 50 megapixel raw files. Let us do what we want with the files. That would be excellent. So these are the five things that I have thought about and the five things that a lot of people have agreed with me on that Twitter post. There are a few honorable mentions. One is a matte finish. We would all love a matte finish. That to me isn't as important as the software features and the hardware features that I mentioned, i.e. the battery, customization, charging speeds, etc. The other thing we want, again for photo, enthusiast is pro mode. Give us full control of the device. The Pixel camera is probably the best point and shoot camera out there today, and it still is, but give us full control of the device. Give us more versatility for our photo enthusiasts out there. Another thing they want is better overall video, less grainy video at night, a more refined video system. Let, put us in the same category as the, the ultras and the maxes of the world. And last but not least, a lot of people want a flat display. Now, we do have a flat display on usually the, the non-pro devices, but they want it on the pro. And if you're listening, throw in a flat display for the Pixel 8 Pro. So if you guys have any other ideas or thoughts that you might want to see on the Pixel 8 Pro, please drop a comment below in this video. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. This is Lenny Bond signing off from Purposely Pixel.